Oh, little cough, just take this off. It's got noise dampness on, I can't hear myself, which I think is a good thing sometimes. Um, I'm Alan, this is Alan Reacts, the channel that I like to share with you guys, songs I've known before. What am I going to do with this song? Same as all the others. It's a song I don't, it's an artist I don't know, genuinely. It's a song I do know. It's multifaceted, it's been done by different people, it's appeared in different things. It came across um, my YouTube feed, I suspect, because I was probably going listening back to Bjork and Beth Hart and that kind of different genres. So maybe it said, maybe you'll like this. And this is Aurora covering Massive Attack's Teardrop. And Teardrop on this, on the channel, is put as one, but I think it was released as Tear, then Drop. I'm not sure. But let's get into it. I'm curious. I don't know this artist at all. Here we go. Aurora covering Massive Attack's 1998 hit single, Teardrop. Love that opening. I'm going to get to Aurora's voice in a moment. It's that piano, right? Or keyboard. It, teardrop in itself is an analogy for rain, or is rain an analogy for teardrop in this, in this way? But it gives you that sense of raindrops, teardrops. But it's that pendulum bass sound. Boom. It's metronomic. And I always remember when I first heard it, and I'm not a huge uh, massive attack um, I could say fan, I just don't know them that much. I know who they are, I know they come out of Bristol. Um, I know this song was sung, the original song was suffered, uh, sung by Elizabeth Fraser from the Cocteau Twins. It had originally been offered to Madonna, but the band members wanted, the, I think the guys too, the players wanted to go with Elizabeth Fraser, I think who wrote it, because they just liked her ethereal voice. So I think that's going to be interesting to what I hear now, because it's... Well, we'll get into the song. Let's carry on. voice it breaks into that sort of focused chant there um the song itself it's very abstract i've uh, i have listened to it before and i've never quite been able to put my finger on it if it's a song asking you to be introspective um, and look inwards and whatever it is it's it's melodic it's haunting but here, it looks like her voice has got some range. What do I know about Aurora? She's Norwegian. Um, and really been around since about 2014. Other than that, not a lot. Genuinely, genuinely. So I'm always drawn to when I think about Nordic singers, and there are countless hundreds and thousands. I don't know much about Nordic folk, Nordic pop. The Nordic music scene, genuinely. Um, but I'm interested to hear her voice because already it sounds like we're just getting a small taste of somebody with a huge voice but singing at a reduced output. But it has that lovely massive attack feeling. It's opening, it's, it's that pendulum, that pneumonics, duh, duh, lovely. Breath to 
It's like she wants you to hear it from the forest as she's singing out to you, mesmerizing. I always find it almost, it's a juxtaposition sometimes when you get a beautiful performer, because clearly she's a beautiful woman, not that it matters, she's also got a beautiful voice, and yet she's mesmerizing the look at and she's downplaying everything. It's very, it has a naive, naivety to it for me, almost childlike, but clearly she's not. And I find that interesting because it draws me in. It's a very complicated song, in the, but it's a very simple performance that's got complicated vocals attached to it. And it's all put together and I'm like, oh, okay, she's making this look like something she's performed a thousand times, but I don't think so. It's just really pleasantly folkish, but it has that sort of trippy hoppy, which is what, um, this was on Mezzanine, released their, their, their first album. Not the Rose first album, but Massive Attack's first album. Do you know when you get stuck for words? And I'm not stuck for words because I'm overall bad by the performance. I'm just kind of trying to absorb it all as to what, not what is this, I can see it. It's a very, very clearly talented vocalist singing a very abstract song that was never hit in the US, I don't think. But I first, I think I first remember hearing it again on House in the UK. And House in the UK became popular, but it originally was on one of the smaller channels, Channel 5. And I remember catching it one day, I must have been off work very early on. This is really early in, in the House legacy, if you like. And I heard the opening, and I kept going, I know that, I know that, I know that. And then I remembered it and then I looked it up and I still like the song. But what do I think of Aurora? I don't know. I think I've spelled some bit out. Let's finish it off. I'll close this off. You know, you can have superlatives and often they're just a bit overdramatic in order to feed into the reaction. But I just, that was beautifully done. It was haunting. It was, had the naivety for me, but an innocence, if you know what I mean. Not naive in that she doesn't know what she's doing, but there's a certain tenderness to it and it's quite haunting. And I'm just wondering, does she have a, a, a some sort of, operatic background because that voice is so powerful it must have been some other stages and she performs to the camera but the cam but she's not she's just doing what she does it's really intriguing and that's a good thing for me and it should be a good thing for anybody i'm not like yay oh I'm, I'm, now i'm intrigued i'm really the it was a touching performance and i want to see it again and i will watch it away from this and I find myself, I'm twiddling a thing here because it's, it's really letting me think about the song. What is it? But it's also making me think about who is this performer and why did she choose this song? What can I learn more about this performer? What other stuff has she got out there? I'm sure, because this is off uh, Triple J to give a shout out. That's their video. So it's, it's had a gazillion views. So clearly she's... She's not unknown to the world, just I've missed out on her up until now. Don't let me miss out anymore, guys. Aurora fans, 
Tell me where to go next. Comment, please. Like if you do. Share if you can. All those things. Till next time, guys. Take care.